Greetings, hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. My name is Belle. I'm here to share a few insights that I'm considering on my spiritual path. Um, my hope is that through sharing some of my thoughts, it might spark some of your own ideas. And um, I don't know, I'm just kind of making my way on my spiritual path. And um, I want to keep updating, just keep um, letting everything um, rise to the surface, all the um, epiphanies and ideas. I don't know, it's like um, pretty late in the evening on a Sunday evening and um, I've been thinking about this video topic for a while. Okay, so the title of, the, of this video is Can I Create Wealth? simply by being myself. And kind of the premise of this partly is that when we take on different roles for different jobs or to work for a certain business or something, uh, I never felt like I was really myself when I was doing certain jobs in the past. I felt like it was this facade or this premise I had to agree to that I would act a certain way only or, you know, you know, a certain idea of being professional, but it, it's more than that. Like, you, you, I don't know, I always felt like I really downplayed who I was, and that was the only way to get by. For a while now, I've been on a spiritual path and a creative path. I have not been working in a traditional job. So, this is a really important question for me. Um, can I create wealth? Can I create these, like, cool avenues for wealth and income to come into my life? Um, simply by being myself. And um, so another thing that this is assuming, this question is kind of implying, is that I will have different methods or modes of self-expression that will be my way of sharing and that will allow some type of wealth into my life. And um, so what I'm thinking so far is I know I'm really interested in music so, um, music will be one mode of self-expression that I will allow into my life. Um, and in different ways too, I want to create kind of uh, meditation music, even with the meditations themselves. So like meditations, meditation music. I want to create my own kind of weird, kind of enigma type electronic music. I know it's setting the bar pretty high, but um, anyway, I want to learn, I'm just getting my feet wet. Um, I don't want to create this like folk pop music that I um, write songs for. Um, so that would be like recording and like a little bit of music production that I would have to learn just to do that. Um, so that's one avenue for wealth to flow into my life. And um, another one is writing. I want to write both fiction and nonfiction. And I have some drafts, but. It needs to be really organized and more drafts and editing. And then I'm going to have a spiritual path business that I'm setting up, which is like different chats and discussions under the umbrella of coaching for people. I'm super fascinated by people's um, spiritual paths and like these weird, um, you know, everyone's so weird in this amazing way, right? So I want to hear about people's weird eclectic spiritual paths. And I know I'm not the only one who wants to hear about them, but I'm just, I'm literally interested, like, how is everyone dealing with all these possibilities? How are you crafting your path? Um, so those are some of the main avenues. And then I'm also going to hopefully be getting into visual art in different ways. Um, I want to create oracle and tarot cards eventually. That would be more graphic art, I think. And I want to do painting. And it's so funny, okay, so I'm so cut off from my creativity, really, because I was at a coffee shop the other day, and I was looking at the art on the wall, and I was like, whoa, um, I didn't even think you could be this creative with visual art or with painting, but then I realized how repressed I am, <laughs> so I was like, of course you can, you can do anything with visual art, it's the, the sky is not even the limit, everything's like wide open, you can do anything you want. And um, it's just hilarious to me that I've been so repressed uh, through creativity, or like shut off from my own creativity, but 
that's the past. And I'm not living in the past anymore, so it doesn't matter. Um, okay. So those are the different avenues for wealth to come into my life. And I would be doing some type of creative expression. So I would be myself allowing the wealth to flow into my life. And um, so those are the avenues. But there's other important elements that come into this too. Because I was thinking about this, okay, um, in terms of manifesting, that's a special important word, manifesting. Um, a lot of times it takes a while to manifest what you want. I'm not trying to slow anyone down out there if you don't feel that way, but um, you just have to be really driven and really focused for two plus years, I think. I'm not trying to say like I have to have two years or more, but I'm just saying I'm preparing to be really focused and driven without seeing results yet. So. This is the idea of keeping working towards something steadily when you can't see the results, you can't see any big payoff, and it's beyond the horizon. Everything that's going to happen for you is beyond the horizon, but you have to keep walking towards it, and you have to keep doing the steps and creating the really cool things to share, the different art and music and writing to share. Um... Oh, I didn't, I skipped a part. Okay, this is all out of order, but that's okay. Um, so can I create wealth by being myself? The main idea here, actually, is that I have to believe in myself 150%. I've been believing in myself, like, 22% the past few years, which is horrible, and I don't recommend it. Um, so I'm going to bump that all the way up from 100% to 150%. I have to believe in myself that much. I have to feel that energy of completely being this like vibrant human being. I haven't felt that way the past few years. It's, I'm not going to go into the past stuff, but it's been tough, okay? I've been on a healing journey. It's, it has been tough. And um, so this is a huge switch for me to go from 22% on a good day believing in myself to go into 100%, 150% believing in myself. And um, so what I'm going to try to do in terms of the manifestation energy is I'm going to, since I'm going to be, um, be believing in myself so much, I'm going to keep that belief really strong, even if I can't see results yet, and I'm going to let my life circumstances in my real daily life rise up to meet my high beliefs, my high expectations. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know, I'm really excited about this, I think I see this in every video, I end every video with, I'm so excited about this, but I think that's the type of uh, energy I have when I want to create even a video, it's this excitement, this enthusiasm for life, and um, just really happy about it, it's really cool, um, I think I covered everything wanted to cover. Let's go over these ideas again. Let's just let's just do a little more. Um, can I create wealth by being myself? I have to believe in myself a hundred percent or more. I'm gonna let my life circumstances rise up to meet that belief. It may take years, hopefully not too many years. It may take a few years. I have to work towards something I can't see the results of yet. Um, I have to kind of put those tasks and those steps into play in my daily life through music, learning music production, <laughs> which I can do, I know I can do. Um, so I'm going to learn music production so I can record my own music, I'm going to write more, I'm going to edit, I'm going to self-publish on Kindle, I'm going to open up my spiritual path business. So I'm really excited about this. Hopefully this video will still be up in like two or three years. I can be like, whoa, look at how far I've come. But, um, it doesn't matter because I didn't write this down, but it doesn't matter because if I'm happy with myself and if I'm happy with my life, I've already succeeded, which is something that took a while to get through to me. But, um, if I'm happy with my life, I'm happy with myself, I've already succeeded. And so what I need to do is just translate 
the joy and contentment I already have in life, translate that into some type of art or self-expression to share, and then welcome the floodgates of wealth and prosperity. I don't know, I've been reading all this stuff about manifestation. I know you probably have too. You've seen all these videos about prosperity and manifestation. So this is my high hopes and if you are at all inspired and you want to send me an email or a comment, feel free. Um, thank you very much for tuning into this video and I might have a follow up video with more details or I might not, I might just stick with the card readings and stuff. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.